Hi Scorpios, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your mid-November 2017 what if reason, uh, reason. <laughs> what if video. And when we say what if, um, I'm pulling in the energies of people who, of course, who are Scorpio, but who um, are trying to make these final decisions at the end of this year to get clear on what it is they want to become moving forward. So I'm pulling in energies also of, or I'm trying to, of people who are in very romantic connections. And a little romantic story. So let's see. All right, so the person I am pulling, the Scorpio I'm pulling first, is setting goals somehow to step into a new path, a new financial path. It could also be that a Scorpio has connected with um, a fire sign, Sag, Aries, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. It could be that you are already connected and somehow a new path in Korean finance is, com is coming your way or the fire signs way. They're creating something new, something beautiful. It's blessed by the universe because it's an ace. Um, and yeah, you may receive a gift from a fire sign now, or you have in your thoughts position or in the thoughts position of the person I am pulling these energies in for. There are thoughts of, is this my soulmate? Is this not my soulmate? There is a foundation of the Five of Pentacles. Being up in... This person is, is very much up in their head about how they're going to handle finances or what they're going to do about finances. It could even have to do with concerns um, about a child in the family when I see this particular card. In the recent past, we had the four... Of cups so this Scorpio or whoever's energies these are wasn't really wanting to accept love at first and they were thinking for a minute that everything could work out that there'd be this new path in finances and now they're coming to the realization that yeah that's not gonna work out but remember to be very thankful for the blessings we have whether it's a couch to lay on you know, a roof over our head, food to eat. In the next two to three weeks, you've got the five of swords. So a little bit up in your head, running away from feeling down and sad through this connection. In this person's hopes and fears position, we've got, or I'm sorry, the ability to control. This is spiritual messages saying that this particular Scorpio energy um, has the ability to beautify their surroundings to make their surroundings beautiful, to open their heart and their environment to love. Even though someone may have made them feel down or they felt because of a connection with someone down. You know, people can't make us feel down. We can take that from them and decide what we want to do with it. We can get rid of it and move on. Now, Spirit wants to speak with you guys about maybe an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or... A very successful person who does well financially but it seems like this Scorpio these energies are running away from what they thought would be a love offer maybe spirit saying it's time Scorpio for you to become the boss the leader the caretaker the giver even though maybe this particular connection didn't work out now in the hopes and fears position of this particular Scorpio, we've got the death energies. Hoping or fearing that everything's going to fall apart, but since you're running from it with the Five of Swords and you've got the Five of Pentacles, mourning and being sad about things of the past that are gone now. In your outcome position, or I'm sorry, in the outcome position of the Scorpio's energies I am trying to pull are speaking of a love offer. They know what they want, but they feel like the other person doesn't know what they want. And it's frustrating. And that's why at some point, maybe they're even hoping this Scorpio to bring this connection to an end if they haven't already. So the connection they're thinking of 
was very focused and determined at one time, but they were also with the Seven of Swords, not being very honest. In their thoughts, they had unhealthy thoughts. They were making maybe unhealthy choices, this person Scorpio is thinking of. And in their foundation, they were looking at a new opportunity in finances, or they were looking to connect, or they were maybe even dealing with a child that was um, an earth sign as well, or is an earth sign, or has earth in their chart. In the recent past, they were trying to get to the truth of a situation. They were trying to work through and get to the truth about some sort of justice. Maybe trying to get back at someone. Fantasizing about that connection. Trying to get one up. Even though that's not even what they truly want. And I think that's what makes this Scorpio want to run away from this connection. Oopsies, pardon me. So in the next two to three weeks, the person this particular Scorpio is thinking of is stepping into a new difficult path because they're cutting away from that which they were so connected before. People, places, things, environments. The person you guys may be thinking of is has control over in the next four to six weeks deciding a new direction. They may be setting goals in this new direction to maybe meet other people, but to try and get to the truth of some sort of addiction maybe that they have to a person, place, or thing, to a uh, way of thinking about things. Down, kind of sad, unfulfilled. And now, Spirit's saying that they just need to speak their truth in a way that is fair and just. Not to move too quickly or harshly, especially with their words, but mostly with that sword so they don't puncture that bird behind them. In this person that the Scorpio is thinking of, hopes and fears position, they are hoping that something is real and not just fantasy. But in the end, I think the Scorpio starts to realize, you know what, this isn't worth it. I'm bringing it to an end. I'm looking closely at this cup and the cup is empty. And the person Scorpio is thinking of has finally come to the realization that the path is over. And that's okay. I hope that they are okay with that. I feel like they will be okay with that because they're already probably heading in the direction of someone else. Could be a fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, because it's general. In the first week and a half to two weeks from watching this video, some of you Scorpios may be dealing with someone who's a bit of a tyrant. Maybe that's who you guys are thinking is keeping secrets. And part of you wants to just be free from the drinking, the partying, the uh, three-party connection if, uh, if there was one. And I'm beginning to think that, yes, maybe there was. For some of you, not all of you, whoever's this is, spirits confirming with the Lenormand cards. That in the beginning, in the first week and a half to two weeks, you guys may be shining very brightly, feeling very fulfilled, not sure to whom you're going to offer your heart to. And in the next two to three weeks, some of you, not all of you, and whoever these energies are for sure, uh, has realized that you've pulled someone into your path who is maybe not so honest. That's why you guys are looking at a path in fear of where it's going to lead. When what you really want to do is probably put closure to a path and step into a new path, a new direction. And this is being confirmed with the key card and the tree card. So a successful route through and beyond. Spirit saying there will be many blessings once you get beyond the curve in the tree from something that caused pain at one point. You will grow beyond this. Here's Spirit's way of saying we're offering you the life renewed acorn to build a new path for yourself. To build a path in a different area maybe from a three-party connection or a business connection. There was a small offer there but it was very tiny. Maybe with somebody you'd known already for a long time and you were wondering do I give this another chance? Or do I get excited about a new direction? 
and the Lenormand cards say, what's best is for a very kind gentleman to be protective of you, of your home, of what you share. So if the person in your path can't be that for you, it's just Spirit's way of saying, move on to the next. There will be other blessings available to you. Look at that. They're saying that for some of you, not all of you, whoever this may be, there is definitely someone dishonest, but that if you can move ahead forward, that in the next three weeks, three months, three years, you can actually solidify a long-term connection. So again, with the Lenormand cards from the beginning, I wanted to tell you that the card representing the entire spread does speak of great luck for you guys. Plant your seeds, watch them grow, clip away at the things that don't belong. You've got the stork and the moon going inside, within, taking time by yourself, quietly, to listen to your intuition about what needs to change. Now, of course, we can't change a person, but we can change the path before us. How are we going to make changes to find that luck, that fulfillment, that happiness, that contentment and joy? We have someone who's going to come in very, very quickly in your direction for some of you. And some of you are the protector of your tower, your home. The combination of these two say, there will be news from a corporate or government business and or there may also be news from someone from your past. And spiritual guidance please from the Angel Tarot deck by Doreen Virtue for Scorpios. King of Water, we got the King of Water energies. Make sure you find the right person for your path, in your path. Maybe even these can be your energies for the next month and a half or two. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Open your heart, Scorpio, and your mind to those around you. You will receive heartfelt advice. Now is the time to do some charity work to build on those karmic blessings. So that maybe what will come in is a beautiful offer of a new home or an offer of finances to help you build a new place or to move to a bigger, better place. So there are great blessings ahead of you. Spirit's just saying for some of you, maybe check out someone who comes in too quickly. Take your time and wait for the gentleman. Then you can open your heart. So if these messages apply for any and or none or all of you Scorpios, please feel free to contact me for a personal reading at my email, josiek42 at gmail.com. The information is in the box below. Thank you for those of you who have been coming to me for readings. Thank you for your likes, sh shares, and subscribes, for your donations, for your kind words and comments and support. Happy holidays to you all. Take care. And God bless.